buildings are very dynamic uh, in nature. Um, you know, you could have one tenant move out and a new tenant come in. Uh, you could have a new uh, restaurant or a new cafe open up in a certain floor. And with all of those changes, you know, the traffic pattern within the building changes. And as traffic pattern changes, the dispatching performance also changes. And so now having an AI system that automatically learns this and is able to adjust the dispatcher to give the best performance, you know, fundamentally future proofs the building. And this is really what our customers, our building owners, our property managers expect, is that the elevated system dynamically responds to all of these changes and ensures a seamless behavior for our customers, for our riding passengers. And now the riding passenger and the demographic of that is changing. Uh, we see a lot more use of service robots in buildings to you know, dispatch material or goods or even food uh, to, the, to the occupants of the building. And so if you think about it, you know, our OID product, you know, our flagship uh, robot dispatching, allows these robots to interact directly with the elevator system and call the elevator. And they become just like us, a riding passenger within. So you know, I fully expect this trend to increase. Um, and you know, in the dispatching space, we kind of now uh, you know, understand that there are different uh, types of passengers coming into the car, and then we appropriately dispatch you know, cars uh, you know, for the riding passenger. Um, if you think about it, uh, in a hospital, for example, if you have a stretcher, you know, that's a robot that comes in, uh, you don't want to go into that same car with a stretcher because it occupies a lot of space. So we intelligently detect that and then we kind of assign a different car for you to you know, get in. So you know, these are the kinds of things that we look at and we see how trends are affecting uh, the dispatching performance and what passengers expect. And then we appropriately change our uh, products and our algorithms to kind of account for that.